All right, so I am officially back in the vlog. It has been an atrocious last three weeks, and let's just say I haven't had time to do pretty much anything other than work. So I'm finally able to have a first weekend off in a long time. I'll tell you what I've been up to in just a second, but first, I have to get rid of this rat's nest on my head. I am way too overdue for a haircut, so let's get that right now. All right, now I can officially continue this vlog because my hair is back to a normal state. I've been neglecting it for the better part of like three weeks now because like I said before, it has been a long three weeks to say the least. So first and foremost, shout out to Ray over at Quality Barber. I've been going there for probably 10 years or so and he's always made me look fresh with the fresh fade and all. He is amazing, which is why I keep going back to them. So funny story behind him, actually, I used to go to that barber back in 2010. That's when I first started going there because I used to live across the street on 88th Street way back when. When I started going there, I was actually seeing his partner or one of his employees because he owns the place. And I came back after going to North Carolina for four years, came all the way back and he actually remembered me. So shout out to Ray. He was like, oh yeah, you used to sit right there. So yeah. He's awesome. I will continue going back to him. And if you're ever in New York, you should go back to him too because he's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. So let's talk about my crazy last three weeks. I was in room five, followed by room two, followed by room five again for three straight weeks. And since you probably have no idea what that means, I'll break it down for you. So room five and room two are basically the big rooms where we do all of our complex cases that take a while and sometimes those cases can go multiple hours at a time. And when you're in those rooms, you're usually there from about 8 a.m. or so until maybe sometimes 8 or 9 p.m. depending on how busy the day is and how many inpatients we add on. So ultimately, how busy our day is depends on what's scheduled as outpatients and how many inpatients we add on at the end of the day or in between some of our outpatient cases because sometimes they don't always show up on time or may not even show up at all. And now that we require COVID testing for every single outpatient, it's become more of an issue and we've canceled a lot more cases than we'd like to. So as I mentioned before, I started the first crazy three week session in room five, which is full of big cases like embolizations and all that kind of stuff. Then I had Saturday and Sunday off, and then I started immediately into a seven day straight of call in room two, which is our call room. And you've seen that video, or I hope you've seen that video by now, but I'll link it up here. Now, room two is crazy, and it is the craziest part of this fellowship. How your day goes and how your call week goes completely depends on this room. So room two is basically just a bin for every procedure to go that can't really fit in any other room. So the fellow who is in room two for that week has to actually stay and do every single case and even the late cases that day because technically they're the person on call and they should be staying the latest. What inevitably happens is there's always an add-on inpatient that happens kind of late in the day or an emergent case add-on or whatever and that always goes into room two which means the on-call person is always staying late, unless for some reason there's no add-on cases. Hey, 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 I'm up Hey, hey yo. Up? Hey. Now you're on YouTube. Okay, right, you got me already? You got you, bro. Okay. I guess someone left their shoes. So basically what I'm trying to say is that week was brutal for me as you saw on my call video. And then, so working seven days straight all the way into Monday morning, I went directly in to another week or five days straight of room five, which as I mentioned before, is the other tough room that we do in fellowship. Not as bad as room two, but it can be pretty bad. So why am I even telling you this to begin with? It's not because I'm whining, it's just because I'm telling you what I've been doing the last three weeks and that's what vlogging is all about.
And there is one thing I haven't mentioned yet, and that is Andriana is currently out of town this weekend. She went to a work retreat for her new job, which I still haven't told you about. But I will give you a hint and say that if you can see some of my face is peeling, it's because Andriana was trying out some new products and did a chemical peel on me. So that may give away a little something about what she's doing. But she's out of town in the Hamptons on the work retreat. I am enjoying this relaxing weekend. I'm going to literally just relax and do as much nothing as humanly possible. Today I'm just walking around doing errands. I'm going to try to go to the hardware store right now. So tomorrow I'm actually playing golf with the boys on Long Island. So that should be fun too. It's just, you know, a nice relaxing weekend because this is all I've literally wanted for the past three weeks. I feel like I'm just exhausted and getting no sleep and sometimes you just need a little break which I will get coming up soon because I have to work next week and then I have a week vacation finally which will be my first vacation in I mean almost a year which is crazy so we're gonna venture out upstate and I may or may not take you along for the ride let me know if you want me to I'll vlog it it's gonna be absolutely beautiful but for now Let's go to the hardware store because I want to get that painting up before Andriana gets home. Actually, you know what? I think the hardware store is going to have to wait because I haven't eaten anything. And I think I've earned an egg and cheese bagel to kind of start my weekend, if you will. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll just go to the hardware store later on tonight. But I promise I'll get it done for you, Andriana. Just maybe not until Sunday night. Also, one thing I've noticed since I started kind of this fellowship thing is it's really been hard for me to work in working out into these terrible work weeks between spending all my time on fellowship and then also half of my time on YouTube or my remaining time on YouTube. It's just been pretty difficult to say the least. And honestly, I'm basically just making excuses because I know I can find time to work out, but I just haven't been lately for some reason and that's part of the reason why I've been so run down I think. Usually I like to work out in the morning but the mornings are pretty early here and then sometimes I don't get home till really late so it kind of makes it a little difficult and on the weekends I'm so tired and my legs you don't realize it but wearing lead for 12 plus hours a day for almost three weeks straight kind of does a number on your legs. I feel like I've been doing squats for like three weeks not really but it's kind of like my lower leg per se and I haven't been wearing compression stockings or compression socks like I should because I've just been lazy and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to try to go to the gym today regardless of how tired my legs feel because I need to. So now you know what I'm doing this weekend. Also, one thing I realized, I was filming kind of a behind the scenes video for the Treat Live Case Symposium, and I never actually finished it. It's kind of unpolished, and I was so busy that week because I was on call at the exact same time, and I didn't really finish it. So would you want me to finish it and post kind of an unpolished live behind the scenes video, or would you just like me to kind of show that stuff or show the footage from the cases intermixed between some other videos just let me know in the comments below and i will do whatever you all want please as always make sure you smash that like and subscribe button follow me on instagram if you don't already follow me on tiktok if you don't already as well otherwise i'll see you all on the next video